The president signs the spending bill. It includes an extra $320 billion over the next two years. Mark Lotta is the former press secretary for Vice President Mike Pence, and he joins us now. Mark, what the devil are the Republicans doing with all this extra spending? You gotta tell me. Well, it, they're governing. And the fact is, is that the way it works in, on Capitol Hill right now, we have to have Democrats in both the House and the Senate to be able to pass uh, to spending bills and budgets. They insisted that any increase in defense spending, which is greatly needed, and the president very much is committed to doing, also had to include domestic spending increases. That's the only way we're going to keep the government open. And in a divided government like this, that's the only way to go. The answer, though, looking forward, we've got to get more Republicans on Capitol Hill to help control spending. Okay, look, we've got this volatile stock market and big losses down 10% for a lot of people. And at the same time, we've got this looking forward in Congress. Um, I mean, the president might be in trouble with the votes that he needs from the Democrats. Do you think all of this combines to create real problems for the real, genuine Trump growth agenda going forward? I, I don't think so. In fact, and Stuart, you're, you're far more an expert than I am, but a lot of this, uh, the stock market could be attributed to the fact that we're growing so fast. That's true. Which is, that's right. which is yep. worrying the markets. But that's good, for, that's good for people at home. I think we will get through the spending crisis. The, the key is we're investing in our military. We're providing money to help fight opioid addiction. We're doing the things that the American people want. If they want to help join the president, in controlling spending, we're going to have to get more allies on Capitol Hill that believe that. I think the Republicans seem to be banking everything on a rip-roaring economy come November. You get that, and you probably think you're going to keep the House and maybe make a gain or two in the Senate. But that's your, that's your only real hope, isn't it? A, a growing economy to beat back the Democrats. Well, you know, uh, President Clinton back in his 92 campaign coined it, it's the economy, stupid. So, you know, I think it always is and it always has been. Uh, but let's also not forget that the other real changes that we're seeing under the leadership of the president, we're taking the world with us as we're confronting North Korea. The vice president is there right now to make sure that the world remembers the atrocities of that regime during the opening of the Olympic Games. We're defeating ISIS, which the president promised he would do. Those are the things the American people can see. They're tangible. Add the economy to it, and it looks good for Republicans in 2018. Yeah, but what about immigration? They start the debate. Mitch McConnell says, right, we're going to start that debate across the board. The wall, the chain, the lottery, the darker people. This whole debate starts on Monday. What does President Trump has to get border security and the reform of the entire system if he's going to give in on DACA. That's the way. It has to be like that. Do you think it can get that deal? I, I do think you can get that deal. The Democrats, they, they want to get this done. Republicans want to get this done, especially as it relates to the Dreamers. And the president has said from the beginning he wanted to deal with them compassionately. But he is very serious, and so are Republicans, about securing our border, stop the flow of illegal immigration, stop the flow of drugs and gangs into our neighborhoods, which terrorize our families. The only way we're going to do that is to get serious about border security and to reform a broken immigration system. I think there's an opportunity there if Democrats want to join with us to make real progress for the American people moving forward. But border security has to come first. It has Absolutely. to. Absolutely. The president's very committed to it. Got it. Mark Lotta, thanks for joining us, sir. Big day, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.